Doctor, am I making my hair fall out because I lift weights or because I take creatine? Strength training does temporarily raise testosterone and even DHT levels, but these spikes are small and short-lived. They usually return to baseline within an hour or two. That's not the same as having chronically high DHT levels, which is what actually drives follicle miniaturization in androgenetic alopecia. And here's the key evidence. In 2025, a randomized control trial specifically measured hormones and hair parameters in men, taking creatine versus placebo. The results, no increase in DHT, no negative changes in hair density or thickness, and no creatine specific effect compared to placebo. This trial confirmed what earlier smaller studies suggested. The fear that creatine accelerates baldness simply isn't supported by data. So what does that mean practically? If you're lifting weights, you're improving muscle mass, bone health, metabolism, mood, and even long-term cardiovascular health. These are huge benefits. But your hair follicles don't suddenly shrink every time you do a bench press or drink a creatine shake. Therefore, the advice I give is this. Keep training for your overall health and confidence because those benefits are enormous and evidence-based. And if you are genetically prone to hair loss, the right approach is not to stop lifting, but to treat androgenetic alopecia with targeted therapy, whether that's medication, PRP, or eventually surgery. You get the best of both worlds, strong body and protected hair.